Welcome back everyone. Let's have a look at the results of our seed germination experiment. As you might remember, we put some cress seeds on a towel in fresh water and exposed it to sunlight. A towel in fresh water covered up with this plate in darkness. And over here, we put some cress seeds on a paper towel with salt water. Well, let's see how the different experiments compare in terms of the germination rates. Well, we can clearly see that the cress seeds with the fresh water exposed to sunlight have germinated very, very well. There's hundreds of little cress plants growing up here. This one here in the middle exposed to dark conditions. Well, these have also grown very well, but you can see the cress seeds aren't as green and their long, thin stems all have been snaking around in different directions. Last but not least, our saltwater experiment. Well, actually, these ones have barely germinated at all. A few of them have tried to germinate, but none of the seeds really have taken off. And yeah, the ones that have tried to grow don't look very healthy at all. Well, what does this experiment show? Well, clearly, the seeds that have germinated the best are the seeds that have been on the fresh water and the paper towel exposed to sunlight. So clearly, cress needs both fresh water and sunlight in order to grow healthily and the little seedlings grow strongly. The seeds that have been put in these dark conditions have germinated, but they're not looking that healthy. So this reveals that cress seeds absolutely can germinate just with fresh water without sunlight, but the plants in order to grow healthily need sunlight in order to photosynthesize. Interestingly, if you can imagine when the plate was on the bowl, the seal isn't perfect and a tiny little bit of light would have probably shone in through the sides. And that's reflected in the growth pattern of these little seedlings. You can see them all growing out sideways towards that tiny little bit of light that maybe came through. So it shows two things. Firstly, that cress seeds can germinate even if there's no light or very, very little light. They just need the fresh water in order to be stimulated to do so. But when the seeds germinate, the seedlings search out for light and do their best to grow towards any light source, as we can see here. The reality is, if we kept these little seedlings in the dark, they would eventually starve and die because they need to photosynthesize in order to grow healthily. And that shows the difference between these ones here in the sunlight and these ones here in the darkness. And our last experiment over here has the most traumatic results. Very few of these seeds here that were put in the, the salt water have germinated and the few that have have mostly died or are looking very unhealthy and I think won't survive. So this reveals that clearly salty conditions are not good for cress plants or cress seeds to germinate. Remember that every single different species of plant around the world has different requirements for its seeds to germinate and for its seedlings to grow healthily. Some plants actually like salty conditions. These plants are called halophytes and if you use the seed of one of those you'd probably end up with the exact opposite results, where the seeds wouldn't probably grow in fresh water, but would grow very well in the salty conditions. You can repeat this experiment and test different types of seeds. See if you get different results with different species of plants. Send in your results to classroom at darwin200.com. It'd be really, really interesting to see if you got the same results as I did here with cress, or if you find out different tolerances with different types of plants. Thank you for taking part.